Welcome back, everybody, to a brand new episode of Ace Weekly. I'm your host, East Snowy, and... How's it going, everybody in the Ost community? My name is Proto Blue, and I will be your co-host for this episode of Ost Weekly this week. Make sure to check out the description for the one-month Ost Sporta Tag giveaway. With that being said, let's get into this week's news. Starting this week off just right, Osu has a new featured artist revolving around the death metal genre named Rivers of Neil. Most of their pre-time music has a BPM ranging from 200 to 260. Mappers are sure going to be having fun making great maps out of this. Veyabot is a bot that was developed to recommend good unranked maps, featuring useful commands such as the option for choosing your default game mode for OS, being able to recommend more than one map at a time, a request feature for maps that can be added into the bot, and last but not least, a complain command you can use to complain about the latest map. You can call this bot up by messaging the Theabot account in OSU. The iconic mapper Val0108 had his 29th birthday on the 7th of January. Then three days later, it was Carthy's birthday. A big happy birthday to both of them. Hideki had been overtaken by Flying Tuna and is now in the fifth place in the O standard leaderboards. After the thought of Happy Stick being gone for good, on Saturday evening he streamed O's for the first time in a while now, reaching a peak of 2.4k viewers on Twitch. On the O's game Reddit, Vaxay's 1023pp play being his hidden and double time FC on Tsuki Nami in Nostalgia Difficulty, which was set around 6 months ago, has been archived, meaning no more votes can be made on this post, which suggests that this will probably be the top O's game post of all time now. White Cat is yet again spitting out some plays to the O's community in this year, starting off with the first ever FC on the 8.67 star Extreme 18 difficulty of Speedum by Tech 9. This play would have been worth 780 PP if it was ranked instead of loved. Continuing with White Cat, here's the first HDDT FC of Super Driver in Fiery's Extreme Difficulty with a respectable accuracy of 99.53%. After hitting all the vertical jumps this map has to offer, he earned himself 976 PP. <laughs> Keep this video short and quick. Here are the score screens for his other top plays yet set throughout the past week. With the two miss hidden and double time pass on Black Rover and Extreme Difficulty being able to be worth 1,174 PP if he'd have seen it. Achieving the first double time FC on Hardware Store and Hectic's High Performance Streamers Difficulty, a hidden and double time FC on Ancient Flower, a map that only has one other double time FC, which was done by Alumetri. And finally, from White Cat is his triple mod of C on Make a Move, worth 968 PP. Chogomin gave in to give Hoshio Kakeru a try with Hidden in Hard Rock, but sadly Slider broke before the last 200 combo. But just two days after, White Cat came in to steal a Hidden in Hard Rock FC, making this the first and only so far. Shigatora also got a better score on Nippon Egao Hyake with HDDT to make sure that no one but himself was going to snipe him off of the number one spot in this map. He increased his accuracy to 99.27% and gained 733 PP with it. Kablaze was rarely seen on the OS game front page in the past couple of months, but after getting a really stable score on Foreground Eclipse, a song compilation, I guess that he deserved this honor again. With a no-watt accuracy of 99.81%, he got himself up to the 4th spot of the map's leaderboards while also setting his first 800pp play.
McCarthy is a really consistent player and showed it off again with an HDHR FC on Dragon Force Cry for Eternity, which is also the current number one score on the leaderboards and the first FC on the map with hidden included. The accuracy of 98.38% makes the play worth 662 PP. Carthy also stood ahead in Hard Rock FC on Kami no Kobata, sniping Bubble Man off the top of the leaderboards. He achieved the first ever hidden in Hard Rock SS on hurting for a very hurtful pain, an old but classic map. And lastly from Carthy got the first ever FC on Colossus, with the second lowest miscount being 4 by Dust Size. A Russian top player called us how a Crying's full combo with the popular map gave me chocolate and black chocolate difficulty plus Hard Rock. With a perfect combo and an accuracy of 99.65%, he got this play up to 702 PP, sitting at the 8th spot of the map's leaderboards. And well, that's pretty much it for the plays. The one with their supporter tag giveaway link can be found in the to the be Twitter through the description below. And other than that, thanks to Proto Blue for stepping in to be this episode's co-host. And that's all we've got for you. We'll catch you all next week.